What is going on, everybody? I am back. Just a real quick video today, as you can tell from the title, what we're going to be talking about. Um, Gino Smith is a very humble person, and I'm just going to talk about a comment that he said today that really, I think, stuck with me in a real positive light. Um, nothing earth-shattering. This isn't going to be me saying that means Seattle's going on to the Super Bowl or anything like that. But um, And this is from Bob Condota's Twitter. Um, Gino Smith was asked today whether he ever got frustrated during his seven years as a backup. Um, he says, no, um, my tough times would be a dream to someone else. Um, and that was an easy chance there for Gino to probably say, so he could have easily gotten away with something like even the, you know, they wrote me off. I didn't write them back. Comment could have been told and said there, he could have said like, Oh, I was itching at the, you know, without even being insulting day, but he could have said, I was itching to get in there. I knew I was a starter in this league. Um, you know, even though I trusted the coaches there, um, you know, I, I knew I could be a star in this league. I was just ready to get back out there. Could have said something like that. Everyone would have understood. He could have said something even a little more arrogant, like, you know, the, the coaches, they just, they, they didn't think I was there. I knew I was a starter and, you know, it, it was frustrating because, you know, there were times I wanted to give up, but I knew I was better than some of these guys, but you just got to take it. Even something like that, um, would have been, you know, an acceptable, an acceptable answer for someone's having maybe not the MVP, but an MVP type season. But instead, let me pull my tablet back up here. You know, my tough times would be a dream to someone else. I think that's just a really telling quote. Um, it's good to remember for life for everybody, I, you know, and for Gino to say something like that is a very humble response, you know, that, even at the lowest, maybe he was in, I'm sure he was frustrated. I'm sure there were times where he thought like, man, if I could be out there, I know I can do this. I didn't really get a fair chance in New York, you know, not saying he did or didn't, but in his mind, maybe. So, you know, it had to be frustrating at times, but to sit there and be humble enough to say that, you know, even though this stinks, this would still be a lot of people's dream to be in my position, whether he means financially whether he means just being in the NFL or whether he means just being a happy human being with a good life. It doesn't matter what perspective he's coming at with that. It's a good life lesson for everybody to remember. Now, some of you, you know, I'm not, and I'm not here to preach about, you know, psychology and this isn't a, it's supposed to be a pep talk to anybody necessarily. Um, Cause some people really are on hard times. Some people are going through a lot, you know, um, in this world. And some people, you know, can't put food on their tables and whatnot. So, for someone in that position to kind of say something like that does does mean a lot. And that's a really, a really powerful message to remember. And if you're struggling, you know, know that you can get back there and whatnot. And if you're not, just know that like there are people that would that would love to be in your shoes, no matter what you're doing. You may think maybe it's not the best, maybe you're going through some, maybe you think you can do more. Um, but there's always someone that would like to be, you know, in your shoes type situation, you know. The, the job you hate is somebody else's dream job, stuff like that. I'm not here to spout off cliches 24 seven, but a, a very humble answer from Gino, like I said, and a good leadership answer too. Um, that's something that young people can look at and go, you know what? The young players on the team can look up to that and go, you know what? I'm, I'm fortunate. Some of these rookies on Seattle, they have a bad day or a bad game. It doesn't mean the end of the world. You're still out there playing. You're still out there competing. Um, you know, Gino went seven, eight years without making a start in this league. Um, and who knows if Russell Wilson doesn't get hurt last year, he might not even be the guy for Seattle this year. They might've, they might've gone with Drew Locke, but they might've just liked what they'd seen enough from Gino last season to give another shot and it's working out. Um, so no matter what like position you're in, you know, if you, excuse me, if you're a youngster on the Seahawks team or someone that's new to the league, you see something like that, that, that is a true leadership answer. It's, it's not letting the highs get too high. You can't do that. And you can't let the lows get too low on you. So, uh, you know, I really think Gino is showing to be a, showing that he is a great leader for this young team. Um, and I think that it just a line that struck me and um, was really impressed with it, a really impressive answer. And I'm hoping these young people are really hanging around Gino and, and getting to learn um, from him. Um, and, and, it, and it's just a good lesson in never giving up. Talk about guys like Kurt Warner, you know, their perseverance. Gino showing the same thing. I'm not comparing Gino to Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner's a Hall of Famer. Not saying Gino's in the Hall of Fame or anything yet, but that same trajectory of being passed over um, or sitting on a bench, but still having the humbleness to recognize that 
you know, it's still a pretty good life, you know, and that you're still, you're still blessed. One of my favorite sayings I try to keep it in mind is, you know, you know, how am I doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm, people ask me, you know, Jay, how you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm too blessed to be stressed. And that's how I try to look at things like too many good things going on. Always wish things could be better. We all wish that. Um, but sometimes you just got to be thankful for what you have, especially around this time around the holiday season. So really cool line from Gino. Just wanted to share that and talk about it for five minutes now, apparently. So, um, yeah, I'll have some more videos later and, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, let me know, please like comment, sub up. Um, if you like the content, please give me, hit that subscribe button really helps me out a whole lot. So, or the like button, thumbs up that helps me out a ton too. So I appreciate everyone that's already done that for me. Have a good one. Peace.